everyone this is anurag today in this tutorial we are going to see about basic introduction to linux operating system okay so let us see what is mean by a operating system first operating system this operating system is a software okay what it will do for example a user is there or uh, and hardware is there user cannot directly access the hardware user can access through operating system okay thus operating system provides a communication between hardware and the user okay what a oper what does a operating system consists of it is a just a software which consists of several components uh, it consists components such as device drivers some binaries and also several os files operating system files okay by using this a operating system will com provide communication between user and the hardware okay let us see what are the structure of operating system let us see the structure of operating system linux operating system structure of linux okay this is our operating this is our operating system and this is our kernel okay all the operations what you want to perform through operating system are performed by the kernel kernel carries out all the operations of the operating system hence this kernel is called as heart of the operating system this kernel is a main component it will do all the operations but there is a disadvantage with kernel what is the disadvantage this kernel cannot understand human level language okay so a user a user if he want to communicate with the hardware he should communicate through the operating system but kernel cannot understand human level language humans cannot understand machine level language so there is something called as shell this is present in the operating system what this shell will do it will convert human level language into machine level language and gives to kernel and after kernel gives the output it takes that in the form of machine level language and converts into human level language and gives to the user right this is the work of the shell thus shell provides communication between kernel and the user okay so shell is also a main component in the operating system there are several types of shells such as the basic shell is bourne shell and the shell next was introduced this c shell then the shell introduced this corn shell that is k shell and the latest and most useful shell is bash which stands for born again shell okay here we can write shell script shell scripts in this shell okay so let us see the types of users in a operating system this is about a basic structure of linux operating system what are the components now let us see the types of users types there are two types of users they are root user and normal user root user is also called as admin user okay this root user is represented by hash prompt whereas normal user is represented by dollar prompt okay as the name suggests root user is the admin user okay that means he can do any activities regarding the operating system normal user is a user created by root user okay normal user do not have all the privileges whereas root user has all the privileges when i log in as a root user hash prompt appears and when we log in as normal user dollar prompt appears and let us discuss modes of operating system modes of operating system there exist two types of modes one is gui stands for graphical user interface mode and one more thing is cmd command line interface okay gui tools are gui gui is a graphical user interface which which is the most user friendly 
and command mode is command line interface is also as user friendly as graphical user interface okay there are several advantages with both of the more operating mode both of the interfaces so in graphical user interface for example take example if you want to shut down the system how can we shut down the system we will click on the shut button again a window will appear in that turn off standby restart buttons will be there we should click on turn off so that the data so that the system will be closed this is how we perform in gui then how we perform in command prompt by using commands we will perform our task for example init 0 is used to shut down the system whereas init 6 this is used to restart the system okay remember one thing this shutdown and startup this shutdown and startup are administrative tasks so only root user can perform that means in when we log in as root user if you give init 0 or init 6 they will work okay same commands if you give from dollar prompt they won't work okay this is about a bit what modes of operating system right now let us see unix file system unix let us see the structure of unix file system unix file system we are discussing why because linux fedora ubuntu sun solaris okay kubuntu like this so many are there all these are flavors of unix operating system that means file system in all of this is unix only okay if we understand this unix file system it is equal to learning all the file systems of all the operating system these are flavors of unix operating system now in unix file system okay there is something called as mount point what is this mount point this is the point from which all directories are separated okay mainly there are three types of directories present in unix file system those are system directories regular directories and device directories okay system directories what are the system directories whenever we install linux operating system automatically the system directories are created okay directories directories okay we are not creating system directories system directories are already install already created when we install the software okay let us see some of the system directories is bin bin etc lib and tmp what are this for example i want to create a directory linux operating system treats everything as a file or directory what is a file file is a collection of some information what is a directory directory is a collection of some files and also some directories okay if you see i want to create a directory called as book how can i create by using the command mk dir a book see we are creating a directory called as book by using the command mkdir this command will work if and only if this command which is used with hash prompt will work if and only if it present it is present in sbin if it is not present in sbin this command will not execute okay then that means all the executables that are used with hash prompt are present in sbin directory similarly there are several commands that can be used in dollar prompt also so this command we are using with dollar prompt all the commands all the binaries all the executables that are used with dollar prompt should be present in bin okay then there is something called as etc this is the most important directory and this is a interview question what are present in etc directory configuration files all configuration files are present in etc directory okay what are these configuration files based on this configuration files itself a operating system recognizes a particular software okay for the, these configuration files are essential for every software 
okay all these configuration files are present in etc directory then lib lib from the name only we can say that all library files are present in this directory and then tmp all temporary files temporary segments are present in this tmp directory now regular directories these are stage ora eng disk 1 disk 2 disk 3 and so on what are this for example let us see a hard disk whenever you buy a new hard disk what you will do we will partition the hard disk this is a hard disk and we are doing partitions partition 1 partition 2 like this see for each partition we are giving separate separate names for one partition we are giving the name as stage for one partition we are giving the name as or ing for one partition we are giving the name as disk 1 disk 2 like this so on why we are giving this and why we are partitioning for easy access for better utilization of the disk space we are partitioning the hard disk for each partition we are giving these names is it mandatory that we should give the same names not at all we can give any names but this is a st but uh, this standard is un uh, understood by all for example stage we store all the downloaded softwares in one directory called as stage why can't we store different different softwares in different different partitions yes we can store but it is better practice to keep in a particular location all the softwares whenever i want to get the software instead of searching in all the partitions i can search in in one particular partition called as stage then what is or ing this or ing stores all the installation files of oracle software installation files of oracle software that means it acts as a home location it acts as a home location for oracle software what it consists of it consists of unbundled oracle software and disk 1 disk 2 disk 3 these are the partitions on the hard disk where you can store some data okay then there is something called as device directories in device directories there is one directory called as media whenever you insert a pen drive or any removable device such as a cd dvd etc to your operating system to your uh, linux operating system those are recognized under media those are called as re removable di di device directories these are device directories okay when you insert only you can see this directories otherwise you cannot see okay linux treats everything as a file or directory so let us see how to create directories and how to create files in our next session hope you enjoyed the session bye